Hey what's up this is Anthony with AGT Exotics and today we're going to try to breed our Salmaporus Armenia pair and also check out our Monocetropus Bafora communal. Um, there's a male that died off and uh, he he started stumbling around the day before yesterday but I'm pretty sure he's completely dead now and there's a molt in there I want to remove and uh, I want to check out how they're doing in there turn it around the enclosure and uh, see in there and see if we can see any babies or any egg sacs or anything like that all right let's get to it all right so let's catch this male and put him in there with the female they are pretty darn fast uh, species so we will do our best not to have any problems Come on, it ain't a bite. Keeps on gearing up to use his fangs on the um, tongs. There you go. There you go. Back up in there. Doing this at a really weird angle so I can show you guys what I'm doing. It's, it's much easier to do it, not trying to film it. Right. We got him in there. He molted quite a bit ago, um, eight months or something like that. And, uh, the female, she needed to molt, so she finally molted about a month and a half ago. And I put her in a bigger enclosure. So, now we can finally breed him. Hopefully he still has it in him to do it. Um, he's been getting really sluggish the last few weeks. So, hopefully he can still perform <laughs> his duty. I think I'm just going to put this whole uh, little catch cup deal in there so he has somewhere to hide from her in case. Yeah, so I don't want to force him in there to run around because that will trigger a food response possibly. Um, so I'm just going to leave them like this and then keep a close eye. And if anything happens, I'll turn on the camera again and uh, and film it. So let's move on to the Balfouri communal. Let's see what's going on with those guys. So not even 10 minutes later. I just glanced over and they were already paired up. And um, I turned on the lights and started recording here. And uh, let's see if they get back to it. There's no way for me to set up the tripod where I'm at, so I am freehanding it the best I can. So it looks like he's going to try for a third time. put the camera away and thought they were done and he's over walking at her shaking
This is pretty cool. I don't know if you can pick up his vibrating, but the whole body shakes. It might just look blurry on here for a second. Dangerous business being a tarantula and a male. Those fangs. It's not very inviting. <laughs> oh gosh. This may be foolish, but it will look really good. <laughs> so I'm going to try to take the lid down here, because it's on the front, without uh, disturbing them at all. She doesn't look as receptive. I think I should close the lid. I think she's going to bolt on him. Trying to move these without disturbing them too much. I'll have to get the camera angle right. All right, so here's the communal from the front. There's the male that passed away. 
and there's a molt I need to remove as well. We've got two of them that are walking around, so I need to get them to go try to hide because there's no taking this lid off at all with them roaming around like this. It's pretty much the, mo the, the males roam constantly um, and they're there's breeding constantly in this enclosure. Um, at least once a week I've witnessed two or three pairings. And sometimes even the males will uh, get confused and try to pair it up. It's pretty funny. Alright, so let's try and show you what's going on back in the back side here. I have a flashlight, I wish I had a flashlight. I'll show you a little better. It's kind of hard to see what's going on because it's so dense. but there is three little clusters of them there's two right there looks like there's about four or so right here and then two more over there starting to see a lot of movement in there but you really can't tell with how dense the webbing is. Oh good, this one's starting to hide. That'll make it easier. I'm just going to get this last one to start to hide. If I can figure out a way to show you guys better in there, I will do that. But I don't really have a flashlight at the moment. Probably the best method. Let's get these two males to go chill out somewhere. Got the one. Pretty much as soon as you, <clears throat> as soon as you mess with them, they go find a place to hide. Oh, that's a good shot of that one right there. Pretty much lost all their blue at this stage. They've been matured for quite a long time now. That should be happening quite a bit all of a sudden here. Males should start going once a month or so. I should start finding a dead male. Feet out. Okay, I can here. <laughs> Not very aggressive either. They're very chill when they're in their roam stage so far that I've noticed. Um, I only really get clusters from the females at this point. But I don't go poking around in here too often so 
It's not very often. <laughs> this guy's still healthy and roaming around. Pretty good. Come on, there's two more pieces of foot I want to remove, or leg. This one's not that old and messed up. He's pretty pretty active and wild still. I don't see any blue on him, but usually you gotta get a good good light on him to see it at the right angle. I'm disappointed I really can't see in there to see what's going on with them as far as uh, egg sacs or whatnot. Well, it's not to see little babies roaming around. Thanks for checking out this week's video. If you happen to enjoy it, please like, share, and subscribe. There's a subscribe button, there's a video recommended for you, and there's the AGT Exotics playlist. Alright, catch you guys next time.